the holidays are getting close and the requests I got from the wife make a miniature version of these books. Now lots of people are making these books online and they can be as simple as just a square block of wood that gets painted. I want to make mine a little more sophisticated than that though. So we're going to start with just a very basic design and then I'm also going to show you how to up your game a little bit. A holiday book stack. Here we go. So now that we have a request in the wood shop, let's talk about what tools we're going to need to make this. Now this decorative book, we can make this as simple or as sophisticated as we want to. If you just want to make a stack of books with some basic wood, you're going to need a saw, whether that be a miter saw or just a table saw, you'll be fine. The appropriate safety equipment and some wood. Now let's talk about the wood selection. Let's keep this as simple as possible and do as little work as possible. So we could get larger stock, rip it down, plane it down, do a bunch of work. Now this piece of wood you can buy right from the store in various lengths. It's already the, the thickness and the width that we want for our project. So we're going to get started with the most basic version of this book stack. Just using the saw and the wood you can buy at the store. So the first thing I did was cut a sample and showed it to the wife because I'm not an idiot. Hey honey, is this what you're looking for? I'll be damned, I got it right. And I set up a stop block ahead of time with that dimension so we can just replicate that same length and just crank these out. I better clarify how many of these damn things we need. Hey, how many of these book things you want? 30? I don't know what in the hell we're going to do with 30 of these freaking things, but apparently that's how many we're going to make. You could be done right there. They do look nice, simple. So you want to up your game a little bit? All right, so there's another step we can take with these. Let's get a little more creative. We're going to need a couple more tools. Router table. In addition to the router table, we are going to utilize a couple of different router bits and a palm router. This router bit is a flat router bit, half inch. And I also have a quarter inch radius or round over uh, style bit. That is going to be the shape of a half inch straight router bit. That's what it does. So what we're doing is we're going to make that shape in this book. This is about three quarter inch board and we're going to use a half inch router bit. So that's going to leave us a quarter inch. But we want to center what we're doing on this on the book so it's going to leave a quarter inch total. And if so, if we center it, that's going to be an eighth of an inch on either side. And that's all we want. That's fine. We're just trying to create a little bit of a 3D effect and uh, give this very boxy, basic book a little bit more depth. So I'm going to measure and get this approximately an eighth of an inch away from the fence. So, I mean, that looks pretty good, but I think that we can get that a little bit closer to the spine. So we're going to go just a little bit further with our stop. Getting that effect that we want. See, we're starting to look like a book all the way around with the cover on it. So we got a little bit closer to the edge. I think I like that one. I like where that's at. And we'll cut the rest of them. So I think we're starting to get close to what the wife wanted. But there's one more thing we can do. So for the last step, I want to use a roundover bit on my palm router and just do that on the spine of the book. 
We are only going to router these two edges on each book. Now first, it might be a good idea to use a scrap piece of wood and just test and see that round over. Pretty good. Wow, these things are looking pretty darn finished right now. Everything's rounded, 3D. Much nicer than just a basic square board cut into pieces. Now we just need to paint it. I won't bore you with that, but let me paint them, and then I'll come back. Use this chalk paint. This stuff is awesome. Rust-Oleum chalked. We use it on a lot of our different crafting projects. Well, now they're all painted. The wife's request is complete. Or is it? I have one more idea that we can give these things just a little bit more depth. What if we did one more relief cut with the router? Let's give it a shot. So all we really have to do here is I'm still set up with the router table. I just need to raise that up a sixteenth of an inch. Well, there they are. Stacks of books. Well, that's it. We used some basic wood and some basic tools, and I think we created a pretty nice book stack. I like the detail we put into it. It didn't take that long. It was not that expensive. And I think, uh, I think this is gonna look nice when uh, my wife gets her stuff put on it. And now that I'm done with this project, I am sure there is another one coming up soon. So stick around, like and subscribe. I'm going to have some more fun woodshop projects coming up soon. Thanks for watching.